I'm here with Laura Howard, the Chief Marketing Officer for ECI Telecom. Laura, there's a lot going on with convergence these days. What's driving it? When you look at convergence as a topic, it's important to look at it from two key focus areas. There's convergence in the network, where there's a lot of innovation happening, and there's convergence at the service layer, where we need to really look at what is it that network operators are offering to their customers to keep them entertained and, and viable over a long period of time. When you look at the options for convergence, it covers a wide range of things. Uh, from a network innovation perspective, you've got things like carrier ethernet, which is the ideal common transport technology, and the promise of IP. In fact, at the root of most convergence is carrier ethernet and IP. They offer the price points and the scalability that gives these service providers the environment they need to deal with the issues of competition and unique offerings and intense customer pressure. Um, other things that are important when you look at convergence is how to get there. It's not a question of you know, when is convergent, it's more of how. It's not going to happen overnight. Convergence happens in a gradual manner. And some of the interesting approaches that operators need to consider is partnering. Uh, partnering for leasing uh, or renting from carrier of carriers portions of the network that deliver them next generation technologies while allowing them to focus on their core competency. Uh, you see a trend in managed services. This is another example of sort of allowing network operators to focus on their core competency, which should be customer retention and customer satisfaction, while they deal with the evolving changes in both their network and the services that they offer. Now, what's been driving the change in network architecture these days? All operators are facing tremendous margin pressure, and they're also uh, facing tremendous demands from their customers. They want more bandwidth, they want new services, and they don't want any degradation in performance of the legacy capabilities that they had in the past. All this is putting pressure on the network architects to build solutions that adhere to industry standards, but allow them to scale and evolve the network over a period of time. Now what should the telecom industry be doing to uh, reduce the carbon footprint, conserve energy, help operators reduce operating expenses? First and foremost, you need to design products that are drawing less electricity. Uh, one of the fundamental design requirements of many of ECI's uh, core platforms, um, and part of the promise of our one net value proposition, is the multi-service capability. So in one chassis, we're trying to amortize the utilization of that electricity across a wider range of services. So you're reducing the number of boxes that are needed to offer different types of capabilities. Uh, that also addresses the footprint issue. Not only is green key to reducing carbon or protecting the globe, it also, in becoming green, it reduces the overall cost of running a telecommunications network. And footprint has a huge role there in terms of real estate utilization. Again, a multi-service uh, platform, again, can do more in the same amount of space and ideally with, with a far less amount of electricity. One of my biggest concerns with the green hype right now is there's far more people talking about it than there's actually products delivering on that promise. Now you talked about managed services before. What's the new model of engagement between vendors and operators? One of the interesting things about managed services is there's no cookie cutter approach to it. Every NGN network is different, which is something that we as vendors struggle with in the industry. It's not like a traditional ATM network anymore, a frame relay. The same holds true on the services side. There is not a cut and dry approach to manage services and outsourcing and hosting of services. It needs to be done uh, in an overall approach to addressing the customer problem. Laura, thank you for talking to Light Reading today. Thank you very much, it was my pleasure.